Alice Trueback, the Jeopardy man, has clocked out this world, man, at 80 years old. He was on the show since 1984, and now he's gone. You know, they'll surprise me, though, because I wasn't looking for the Jeopardy man to be out and away and gone. But them shows were very entertaining. They was very entertaining. Because I was forced to watch it when I was little. Because whatever my parents were watching, I had to watch it. We couldn't watch certain movies and stuff like that. Are we in the Jeopardy? When the Jeopardy come on, that's what we gotta watch. Out of true back, and a lot of people wanted to be on this show, man. A lot of mothers, a lot of fathers. They love Jeopardy, man. People would do anything to get on that show. But what puzzles me is how are these people getting on the show? They say you. I guess you run it, run your name through something or they pick your name or whatever, but there's a countless of people that were trying to get on this show, but never were successful. And when I think about it, you know, I'm not saying that TV is all fake, but I be thinking like maybe Jeopardy was just a sitcom, just for people to watch. Because you gotta remember, it is Hollywood. This is Hollywood. This is in LA, you know what I'm saying? This been this the Jeopardy show. And a lot of stuff you see is uh just actors, man. Most likely. People are always jumping for joy when they hit, you know, win a little a little money or whatever. But I know some people that apply for this show and they never got on it. So it lets me know like maybe some of the stage I'm not saying it's completely fake I'm just saying maybe the show was kind of staged a little bit and reports came out uh, saying that Alex Trubeck he had a long time illness and uh, he was dealing with this for several years and they finally call him home you know I don't see nothing suspicious with this situation the only thing I see is him with the holding his hands up like that to my opinion I think the show was completely fake that's just my opinion I don't think it was I'm gonna say it was almost completely fake, but some of it, maybe they might have had one person on there that was put there to win. And all the rest of them, like two of the people probably was real and one of them was somebody they hired and already know the answer to the questions. Because you got to look at it. When you're doing these TV shows, you got to get the money. You got to make the money. TV shows and sitcoms and all this I'm not really a fan of it but like I said uh, the show was very entertaining it was very entertaining and I'm gonna leave this right here